with a guy who coached against the Fish Jacker. As many of you know, I was out west in Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana for about a week and a half. I'm back home. While I was out there, I found something that I've actually been wondering about for a while. Yeah. Did Dollar Tree have polarized sunglasses? So maybe it's like crazy OCD or something, but whenever I go to Dollar Tree, one of the things I always happen to look over my shoulder at is the sunglasses. And I've always kind of wondered, did they have any that were polarized? And I wasn't sure if they were or not, but typically polarized glasses actually have a label on it that says polarized. So I'd assume, they don't have a label. They're not polarized. I would think that was probably one of the marketing strategies to put the sticker on it. Well, I was out uh, near Salt Lake City. And of course, you know, I always got to check. And I'm assuming they probably had different distributors in different parts of the country. Now, of course, big shout out for uh, Dollar Tree because uh, they're Greenbrier Corporation, right? Uh, yeah, Greenbrier International. They're back home right next to my hometown right there in uh, Hampton Roads uh, in Chesapeake. But I kind of noticed some of the, the youth glasses I've traveled around with that card on it. And I think I saw some that said polarized, but I hadn't seen any that were adult size with polarized. Now, I'm not saying that these are going to be awesome glasses that you really want to have as your primary fishing glass. But if you're like me, you do a lot of traveling, you drop your glasses overboard. Not saying that I've ever done that before, but okay, I've done that regularly. Uh... Or if you're traveling, you just simply forget them. Maybe your dog, like Coco, chews them up. It's one thing she hasn't done, actually. I don't want to jinx it. But uh, at a spur of the moment, you need some. It's a buck. You can't go wrong. Uh, worst case scenario, you can give them to your mother-in-law. Anywho, so uh, I was in, the, uh, in, in Provo, actually, at Dollar Tree, and they had these. Uh, again, it says polarized up top, sunglasses. It's got the sticker on it that says polarized, like I mentioned. Ultraviolet protection, not ultraviolet. Ultraviolet protection. They all seem to have that on them, but the card here said polarized. That caught my eye and uh, the sticker on it. So uh, just taking a quick look at it on the back again. I showed you that. It's got the, uh, the barcode and talks about Greenbrier International, all that stuff. But uh, So it's got the card on it, and it's got the sticker. They had a few different models. You had some that looked like uh, really chintzy Wayfarers. Uh, these are, I guess, probably the most stylish that they had on it. Uh, they're pretty cool. I haven't taken them out. Right now, the water is all super muddy down at the river, so I didn't figure it was a good time to go out and see how well they work. And I didn't know how well the cameras would actually pick up on the... Uh, difference in the polarization. I could compare these with some other brands. But uh, all in all, they're pretty nice. Uh, they do have metal screw, retaining screws on it. It's all in molded there with the uh, nose tabs on it. But they're actually quite comfortable and they don't just like fly off or anything. They're actually pretty cool. Got a nice field of view on them. I uh, kind of approve. I'll get them out in the water and try them out. But again, if you're out and you're in a crunch, you're on a road, you don't have glasses, you forgot them, you're flying, whatever it is, you end up getting near the water, you need some polarized uh, glasses to be looking through, stop by Dollar Tree. You might see them. I haven't seen any of these in the adult size again on the East Coast, although I haven't really super looked for them lately. But uh, every time I have, I haven't seen them. So the first time I've seen them was out West. So it might be coming again from different uh, distribution uh, sources. But uh, yeah, but I have seen those like similar looking cards on the East Coast just didn't say polarized on it, at least here up in PA. But I haven't uh, been down home in uh, Virginia and, and looked for them there yet. So maybe they have more of them there. Didn't see any in Florida though. But uh, so I'm out West. But I picked up a pair. I'll let you know how they go. Um, the lenses are obviously plastic. They got a little bit of flex to it. A little uh, <laughs> lightweight, but the whole thing's pretty light too. So that's actually kind of a benefit too, because you're not going to feel the weight on it. But yeah, the lenses are, you know, there's no scratches or anything on it, at least yet. But uh, they're pretty lightweight. But uh, it's supposed to be polarized. 
So like I said, you get in a crunch, you need some polarized glasses, especially if you're out fishing, don't have any with you. Stop by Dollar Tree. You never know what you'll find. That could be a win for you. But like I said, I'll get out and check them out. All right. So apparently Dollar Tree does have polarized glasses. Probably, I mean, obviously they're not Costas or Smiths or something like that. The Hobie polarized stuff. Not that level, but uh, get you through when you really need a pair. All right, guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to share this video on your, all your social media outlets. Give us that thumbs up down below and subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel. We'll catch you on the water. FishYacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.